Yeah, there guys, welcome back to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review, and today we'll be reviewing Donna Pitts, one of the rusty cars from the Rusty's tenant scene in Cars 1. Now, I do apologise for the lack of, um, apologise, uh, for the lack of uploads recently. Um, I have been very busy in my personal life, but I'm back now, and I've got a lot of new diecast to show you. I'm, I'm very excited to um, show you what I've got in my kind of absence. Some very exciting stuff that we're going to have fun reviewing here. And yeah, I thought I'd start with Donna as she's one of the more, I guess, simple ones to cover. Um, because, you know, she, she like, with the Piston Cup races, I have to, like, bring out the team and all that. But, like, not really with, like, cars like Donna Pitts, Jay Schuster, blah, 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 blah. So... Yeah, let's um let's get into the review, shall we? Now this is her Thailand re-release um from twenty twenty three, I believe. Uh, I managed to pick her up in a one of my local stores. You know, there's a lot of leftover stock from twenty twenty three around. Um, so that's how I was able to pick up her and many other diecasts, which I will look forward to showing you in the next few reviews. And that I've already reviewed, like um. Jay Schuster, um, Ralph Carlo, etc. So, yeah. Onto her appearance in the movie, she briefly appeared in Rusty's tent scene alongside all the rest of the Rusty cars, like Jay Schuster and all that. Um, so, not really a significant presence in the film, but she does have the meet, a Meet the Cars buyer where it explains that she uh, originates from another country and um, came all the way over from there to the US to um, see Lightning McQueen in action and she hopes that he doesn't disappoint so yeah or it was to try Rusty's I can't remember I haven't read a lot of the Meet the Cars buyers for a while and that even applies for like the Piston Gump race so well it's like I'm bound to mess up some details so let's get into the diecast itself shall we as you can see, she has a very nice smile here, as well as um, some headlights and a grill. Some very nice rust, rust detailing here, although the mouth, with the way it's painted, looks like it's rust itself, which is really funny. She has some nice rust detailing on the hood there, and even around the eyes, wow. Some more here, only one headlight, of course, um, because, you know, this is a rusty car, so... The other one likely fell off. Some amazing rust detailing around here. Look how nice this looks. This looks so realistic. Absolutely love it. And some more around the back. Yeah, this is insane. This is insanely detailed. Here is the base. Actually, let me... There we go. Here is the back. Uh, no license plate, unfortunately. Yeah, this diecast is really impressive. The rust detailing uh, that they're able to pull off is just nothing short of insane. Um, I'm really pleased that um, I was able to pick this up because, you know, just have another nice car to use as a kind of a background car almost. Because she's quite generic, um, besides all the rust detailing. Um, but also because, like, it's such a nice diecast. I, Thailand always does a good job with like the rust detailed cars. Like I said this in my uh, review on Squat, um, the detail on him is just absolutely insane, and it's no different for um, Don and Pitts here. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, that'll be all for this review. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.